hopefully they're all shrimp. Because if they're shrimp, your net's going to be full. Well, we're heading back out in Halifax today to do some more shrimping. They're supposed to be running pretty good today, so we'll see what we can do. The last times we were out, we got a half a bucket one time and a quarter bucket the other two times. Maybe we'll do a lot better today. Yeah, they don't catch as many. Okay. The bottom's solid. You just saw the so bottom. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> that shrimp, it's a shrimp. No growing. Yeah. Look at the size of that shark. Again? Told me there was no sharks in this water. There we go. Keep going. I got a few of the shrimp back. You save a few? Yeah. Not many. Uh, the last time we fouled the net, so bad. I gotta gather them up. Yeah, we'll get our throw. There's lots of marks. Look at these marks. marks, like unbelievable. Look at them all. Catch them. Feel them? Feel them. It ain't a shark this time. Not a shark? Nah. That was shrimp last time. We could have went in. I gotta pick them up as soon as you pull yeah. this one in. Get this cast one more cast. Oh, 
Oh, look at them. Feel anything we did pretty good. They're just nice, all nice size. Yeah, it's easier to head. We're in, we're in 15 foot. In that, yeah, they're, they're still marks. They're just wanting them there. and the glowing in the water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Real pretty. Halloween shrimp. Down by your foot, he's a nice size. You mark him? You mark him? No. Oh, yeah, you your back. Ooh, here's the marks. You'll see if you throw this cast. See if there's anything down there with this one. The marks, uh, it's like, hopefully, they're all shrimp. Because if they're shrimp, your net's going to be full. Look at that. Yeah. They're still there. The marks are still there. I know that is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Uh, and the shrimp are still there. Tons of them. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Don't get it back in the water. Get in the water.
pregnant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shrimps. Lots of shrimps. There's so many still in your net. Yeah, I know. There's a good throw in there, left. On the outside. Look at them all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this down and move. There it is, we got our five gallon bucket full and it took about two hours, which is pretty good. Now we gotta hit them all. All right, Joyce uh, decides she wants to make coconut shrimp tonight. So I thought I'd butterfly them for her. So this is how we butterfly them. First thing you take the shells off and you leave the tail shell on. You pull the feet off first, sometimes that makes it easier. And you just lay your shrimp down. Now these shrimp don't have much of a vein in them. You got the top vein, that's the intestines. The bottom vein, that's, a, that's actually a bloodline, like in a fish. So you cut through the, to the intestine. We're going to see if we can get the vein them if there's anything in here. A little bit. But these shrimp, I don't know, they guess they weren't eating. And we just keep cutting through, but not all the way through. And you just flatten them out. Put them on a plate. And let's see, we do another one. I'll take the feet off first. And you leave that last segment on her, leave that tail.
you've got a big bloodline in them too. So I'm gonna pull that out. Don't hurt you. It's just psychologically. Don't hurt you. And you flatten them out like that. And the whole idea of butterfly them, they cook a little faster, but shrimp cook fast anyway. So we just thought it was looking a little nicer. Okay, tonight's dinner is coconut shrimp, sand butterfly, the shrimp for me. What you'll need for the recipe is one and a half cups of Ritz crackers ground fine, a three quarter cups of coconut. Then what I do here is you're going to need two teaspoons of garlic powder. You put that into the crumbs. Half a teaspoon of Old Bay. An eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. If you don't, if you don't have white pepper, then you use um, the black pepper is fine. And then you need a quarter teaspoon of ginger. And what you do is just stir that up a little bit in your mixing bowl. Makes it a little easier when you mix it up in the pan there. I'm going to dump that in there. Dump your coconut in. And just stir it up in there. That's ready. So what you're going to do with the um, shrimp is you're going to dredge it into uh, a cup of flour and two tablespoons of cornstarch and you mix that up in there then you're going to have one egg three tablespoons of mayonnaise and three tablespoons of milk and you're just going to mix that all up in there so what you first you're going to dredge into the flour shake it off then dip it into this let that drip off then what you're going to do is take this in here and you don't want to you just want to Coat it and this. push it down a little bit, and then it coats. It coats real well. Put it over. Push it onto it. I forgot to say, this is a, a pound of shrimp. So you all ready to fry them? All ready to fry. Okay. The oil's ready. You don't want to get it too hot because it will definitely burn this coconut. Makes them look bigger when they're butterflies, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they cheat.
Oh, it don't take long, does it? Yeah. As I said, you get keep an eye on the grease. Turn your burner down. I'm not too good at these tongs. No, it smells good. It smells real good. You don't want to overcook them because then they get all leathery, tough. <laughs> yeah, it smells too good. Mm. Well, hopefully we get some more tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully we decent weather. I hope, but I don't like but the that don't, it's got, The shrimp got to co cooperate, right? Right, shrimp got to cooperate. They, they got to be there. I guess it takes probably less. I know it's less than two minutes. It doesn't take long when the, when you yeah. butterfly them. It's, they fry it real fast. Like red lobster. Right? Yeah. Bubba gumps. Bubba red gumps. Oh, yeah, bubba gumps. They, they got a pretty good one. Well, they really look good, Joyce. They look like they're cooked perfect. Well, tonight's dinner we have, the, of course, the coconut shrimp, orange dipping sauce, baked sweet potato, steamed broccoli, and carrots. Well, if you enjoyed our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.